Okay, so I have my topiary frame, or my my tomato cage mannequin is mossed and ready to plant. And I have my plants. I'm using wax begonia, which are available in so many colors. I really had a hard time making a choice. I finally ended up going with a mixed tray, but I did choose the green-leafed variety rather than the red-leafed. Um, I do like the bronze leaves, but I just I thought that for this the green leaves would look better. I also have some Wandering Dew. Um, I'm going to just take cuttings and stick my cuttings in because it roots so easily. I have a little bit of spider plant and I have some English ivy. And I have kind of looked online and seen um, how some of the mannequins on Pinterest are planted, just kind of as a reference. Um, you know, I've chosen the plants that I think will do well in my yard. I'm in zone 7, and uh, I ha I've got a lot of shade. So these are all plants that will do well in low light and still look attractive. You may need to choose different plants depending on your growing situation. So bear that in mind when you're choosing your plants. Try to pick something that will do well in your area and isn't going to get too big that it's going to obscure the details of your topiary you know and that holds true for any of them whichever one you're working on so every once in a while I will kinda check in and record the process as I'm going but I can't plant and record at the same time So here you can say, see how I've done the um, the very bottom of the skirt with the Tradescantia or Wandering Jew. I may not even be saying that right, but that's um, the proper name for um, this plant. And uh, now I'm going to move on to the begonia. Here we are, we're about one flat in. You can see I've got, um, got her planted almost up to the waist. So we'll have to see if the uh, remaining flat is going to be enough to finish. And here's the mannequin planted. And for anyone who's wondering why I didn't plant succulents this time, and this mannequin took uh, 92 begonias along with the ivy and the spider plant and the uh, vine at the bottom. So at two bucks a piece for succulents that wasn't happening this time hopefully tomorrow we'll get her outside and we'll get some nice beauty shots to share with you guys but that's how you make a tomato cage mannequin <laughs> 